Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today to this 2022 Employee Benefits Open Enrollment Session. Hopefully everyone is enjoying this nice cool weather today. <laughs> My name is Maria Martin and I am a benefits consultant. Assisting me today will be Madison Little serving as our Zoom moderator. And Wanda Caldwell also will be joining our call, the benefits manager, and she'll be able to answer some of the questions as well. We also have representatives from our insurance carriers today. Some will be presenting and all will be available for questions you may have. So I'd like to take a minute to introduce them. From Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina, we have Jasmine Walden. From CVS, we have Sarah Baca. From Cigna Dental, we have Beth Barnes. From IMED, we have Brian Booz. And Jenna Ewing from Marathon Health. We have a lot of important information to share with you today. But before we get started, I must inform you that this presentation is being recorded and that it will be saved and available on MegWeb within 24 to 48 hours after we finish with the presentation, in case you miss any parts of the presentation. We want this meeting to be about you, so please feel free to ask questions after each presenter, or if you would prefer, put your questions in our chat box. So let's begin. Our topics for today will be the following, changes in 2022, medical options, dental and vision options, pre-tax options, marathon health, and voluntary benefits. And again, you're also gonna hear from our vendors to help answer some of your questions. We want you to know that your questions are important to us. Please remember these sessions are public and we have a responsibility to protect your personal health information. I just ask that you compose your questions in a generic format. If we're unable to answer your questions during this presentation due to time or content, please reach out to the respective insurance carrier or the Employee Services Center at 704-432-6947 for more assistance. So what's changing in 2022? Both of our medical plans, the PPO and the high deductible HSA plan are increasing the coinsurance from 25 to 30%. Remember that the coinsurance is the sharing of costs by the insurance and the member. Therefore, once you hit your deductible, you are responsible for 30% of the share costs until you hit the annual pocket annual max. Teladoc will be our new telehealth service provided by Blue Cross Blue Shield. The pharmacy's coinsurance is also increasing from 25 to 30%. The county's contribution, better known as the county seat to the high deductible HSA plan for 2022 will be $500 for individual coverage and 1,000 for family coverage. Effective January 1 of 2022, IMED will be the new vision carrier for the county. We currently have United Healthcare. We are also slightly increasing the rates for medical, dental, and vision. You can reference those rates on the benefits um, guide brochure um, you should have received. Also, under voluntary benefits, critical care is changing to critical illness. So let's talk about our medical plans. Mecklenburg County has two medical plan choices. There's the traditional preferred provider organization plan known as the PPO, and then there's the high deductible HSA plan. There's not one plan better than the other. I'll go into more details about both in the next few slides. So what does the high deductible HSA plan offer? Well, it has a higher deductible, but with lower premiums. Preventative visits are covered at 100%. You have the coinsurance, which is 30%, and you have the HSA tax advantage savings account. The county contributes to the health savings account internally, as we refer to it as the county seed. For 2022, the plan year, Mecklenburg County will contribute 500 for individual and 1,000 for family coverage. You can also make contributions in a payroll deduction up to the IRS annual limit. The annual limit for 2022 will be 3,650 for individual, 7,300 for family coverage. And if you are 55 and over, you can contribute an additional 1,000. Remember, an HSA account can be used to pay out of your out-of-pocket expenses for medical, prescriptions, co-pays, and the deductible. The nice thing about the health savings account is that you can roll over any unused funds to the following year. Now let's talk about the PPO plan. 
the preferred provider organization plan. If you were hired before January 1, 2017, you can choose to elect from either the PPO plan or the high deductible HSA plan. With the PPO plan, you have a lower deductible and a higher premium. You also have the option to participate in the healthcare flexible spending account, which is also a tax advantage benefit. Your preventative visits are covered at 100% and you have a copay of $25 for your office visits to your primary physician. There's also coinsurance of 30%. As I mentioned before, flexible spending accounts are a tax advantage benefit. The county offers a health care, dependent care, and commuter reimbursement flexible spending account. You can elect the health care FSA with a PPO plan or if you opt out of the county's medical program altogether. A few things that you should know about the county's FSA plan. The health care FSA, the funds are front loaded at the beginning of the year and your employee contributions are deducted from each paycheck. More importantly to remember is that any unused funds in the healthcare FSA at the end of the calendar year are forfeited. It is a use it or lose it policy. However, IRS guidelines are subject to change each year. The dependent care FSA can be used to pay for daycare expenses for dependents under 13 and adult care. Funds are not fund loaded and you cannot roll over any unused funds at the end of the plan year. Commuter reimbursement can be used for reimbursements of transit, such as bus passes, light rails, and van pool expenses. Rollovers are allowed from year to year. Any questions so far? No questions in the chat. Okay, thank you so much, Madison. Okay, I'm now gonna go ahead and turn it over to our Blue Cross Blue Shield representative, Jasmine Walden. She's gonna be able to provide additional information pertaining to the medical plan. And once she is done, um, you can feel free to ask questions. Jasmine? Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Jasmine. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Maria, are you able to see my screen okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, everyone. Um, as Maria stated, my name is Jasmine Walden from Blue Cross Blue Shield, North Carolina. And welcome, just a moment. Thank you. And welcome to this presentation about your health benefits offered to you by Mecklenburg County Government and Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Today, I will spend a few minutes highlighting some things you should know and how to get the most out of your health plan. You can save money by visiting doctors who are in the Blue Options Network. To find out if your doctor is in the Blue Options Network of providers, you can just call us at the number on the back of your health insurance ID card. You can also go to blueconnectnc.com and use our Find a Doctor tool. Anyone can find basic information about our in-network doctors, but if you're looking for more details, you'll want to log in. And there's a highlight over the Find a Doctor tool in the middle of the page, as well as the Blue Connect member login to find more detailed information. When you log in, you will see this homepage. Just click on Find Care to get the information you need. And again, it will highlight the Find Care section of the page. As part of your preventive care services, you can see an in-network nutritionist 10 times per year for no charge. These experts can help you start good food habits, create healthy, budget-friendly menus, and know what to eat if you have a health problem. And you get the care you need. As you get the care you need, you can have your health plan information right in the palm of your hand. Blue Connect Mobile lets you securely connect your Blue Cross of North Carolina health plan whenever you want. You're able to get your digital ID cards, view your claims, track benefits, do your deductibles, out-of-pocket, 
expenses, and you can also call customer service or send a direct message through the app. Certain devices also allow you to have a fingerprint or touch ID sign in, and everything that's available on the mobile app is available to you in Spanish. Blue Connect Mobile is free for Blue Cross of North Carolina members. It's also available on the App Store or Google Play. And our Blue 365 program can help you save money while you stay healthy. Blue 365 offer discounts on healthy products and services, everything from gym memberships to nutrition programs to laser eye surgery. When you sign up, you'll get special weekly deals from well-known companies delivered right to your email inbox. From sports gear to personal care, you'll always find healthy savings with Blue 365. Joining is easy. You would just visit the Blue 365 website to get started. Or you can go to www.bcbsnc.com forward slash Blue 365. And with your health plan, you can also chat with a doctor on your smartphone, PC, or tablet. Your plan includes telehealth services from Teladoc. With telehealth, you visit a doctor without going to the doctor's office. It's a great option if you have a minor health problem or behavior health problem and, can see and can't see your regular doctor. It's often more convenient and often cost less than going to an urgent care. With telehealth by Teladoc, you can talk with a board certified doctor by secure online video, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The whole visit takes place through your Teladoc app or your computer. The doctor can even prescribe medicine and send the prescription to your local pharmacy. If you choose the PPO copay plan, you will pay $25 per Teladoc visit. If you choose the HSA plan, you will pay 30% after you met your deductible. You may use your HSA card to pay for telehealth visits. Teladoc can handle many non-emergency health problems like the ones in the chart above. Either at home, at work, or traveling, you can use Teladoc just about anywhere, anytime, day or night. And just to name a few of their services, um, if you have a headache, sore throat, sinus problem, um, cold or flu, um, you can definitely use the Teladoc services. Sometimes life can be too much to handle. Situations like stress at work, changes at home, or the loss of a loved one can make you feel like you've got nowhere to go. With Teladoc, you also have access to licensed mental health professionals who can help you deal with stress, depression, anxiety, and more. Plus you have the option to choose a telephone or video consult based on your comfort level. You would call Teladoc to make an appointment for a behavior health consultation. And again, that's some things like stress, um, postpartum, um, grief and loss. Those are just a couple of the problems. I'm sorry, not problems. There's a couple of the services that they can assist with. There are two ways to get started with telehealth with Teladoc. You can just download the Teladoc app visit us online or call. You can go ahead and activate your account after January 1st, so when you need telehealth, you'll be ready. We're glad you have coverage with Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Remember, we're here to get, we're here to help you get the most out of your health insurance plans. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to call us or visit Blue Connect NC. With the open enrollment, um, there's also an enrollment line 
that you can also call if you have questions or concerns. That number is 877-224-3305. Okay, and Maria, I will stop sharing now so we can go back um, so we can get ready for questions if anyone has them. Thank you so much, Jasmine, for um, your presentation. We've had several questions in regards to um, the seed, the county seed. Um, the current amount has decreased um, for 2022. We don't know of any further decreases. We can only speak to what has um, been updated for 2022. As far as the nutritional coaching visits, we have increased those to 10. Um, in, 2021, we allowed three visits to offer a nutritional, but in 2022, we're going to allow up to 10. Um, as of now, there's a question about um, instead of continuously increasing premiums and significantly decreasing HSA, HSA C money, is the county considering offering the PPO plan to those hired after 2017? Not at this moment. For the nutritional visits, um, there is no copay. They're covered up to up to 10 visits are covered. Any additional questions? Okay, so let's talk about the county's dental plans. Our dental plan is administered by Sigma, and the county offers two types of plans, a standard and an enhanced plan. Hold on one second, I'm sorry. I just went up to the next slide. Okay, under the standard plan, you have a calendar year maximum of 1,000 per individual coverage, a $75 deductible for individual coverage and a $225 deductible for family coverage. No orthodontic coverage is available under the standard plan. Under the enhanced plan, you have a calendar year max of 1,500. Uh, sorry, Keeps going to the next slide. Okay, I apologize for that. Okay, there is a um, $50 individual deductible and $150 deductible for family coverage. Orthodontic coverage is available and has a lifetime max of $1,500 per individual. Orthodontic coverage is covered for dependents, depend, sorry, dependent children under the age of 19. At this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Beth Barnes from Cigna to provide additional details regarding our dental plans with Cigna. Once she's done presenting, feel free to ask questions pertaining to the dental plan. Beth, are you available? Yeah, good morning. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing so you can go ahead and share. Okay. All right, so good morning, everyone. Um, so this morning I'm going to spend a few minutes going over how to locate an in-network dentist and some other programs and services that's available to you through Mecklenburg County. With Mecklenburg County's dental plans, you can choose to see a dentist that is in Cygnus Network or not. If you choose to see a dentist that is in Cygnus Network, you can save money for your dental services. To locate a dentist in Cygnus Network, um, you can search for dentists multiple ways. One, if you do not have coverage through the county yet, you can search online at Cigna.com to find a Cigna dentist. We have a nationwide network of dentists. 
Number two, if you do have the Cigna Dental coverage today, you can access our member portal through MySigma.com or the MySigma mobile app to locate an in-network dentist. Good news is that 90% of the county's population is already using MySigma. So I'm hoping that most of you that's attending the webinar today is familiar using our portal. And the third way is you can give us a call at 1-800-SIGNA-24. We are available 24-7, 365, regardless of holidays. So if you need to call us, you have questions about your benefits, locating a dentist, or whatever it is, give us a call and we can assist you. Estimating dental care costs. MySigma also offers convenient tools to help you estimate plan and budget your dental care costs. You'll find cost estimates for dental treatments and procedures based on your plan information and dentist contracted fees. And you'll be able to compare what it costs when you visit an in-network dentist versus an out-of-network dentist. The Cigna Dental Oral Health Integration Program. This is a program that's available to you all today, um, but this is a program that reimburses out-of-pocket costs for specific dental services used to treat or help prevent gum disease and tooth decay. The program is for people with certain medical conditions such as heart disease, stroke, maternity, chronic kidney disease, organ transplants, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis, to name a few. Again, this program is for people with certain medical conditions with a higher risk of oral health issues. There is no additional cost for this, uh, additional cost for this program. And if you qualify, you get reimbursed for out-of-pocket costs for certain dental procedures. Cigna Dental Virtual Care, while we recommend that you contact your dentist first to see if they can provide virtual care, we recognize that this may not always be possible. Teledentist connects you with a licensed dentist who, through a video call, can help address urgent dental situations like tooth aches, infection, swelling, bleeding, and more. They can also prescribe medication to be filled at your local pharmacy if necessary. And virtual care consults are processed as in-network claims and have no co-pays or co-insurance costs, but it does apply to the county's plan annual maximum. <laughs> and then finally, our Healthy Rewards Program. Sigma's Healthy Rewards Program is for Cigna Dental members have access to um, discounts on a full range of health and wellness programs and services, often not covered by traditional insurance plans. Programs include weight and nutrition management, fitness, tobacco cessation, vision and hearing care, vitamins, health and wellness products, anti-cavity products, financial planning, and healthy lifestyle products. To access healthy rewards, you can visit mysigna.com to get started. Maria, are there any questions regarding the dental plan? Um, I don't see any on the chat. Madison, did you see anything? Did I miss any, any questions pertaining to dental? It looks like one just oh, came this is in. One. Mm -hmm. Yes, how do you find more information about the oral health integration? The, the integration? Oral, yeah, the dental oral health integration program. Um, there is a flyer. Um, I think, Maria, I think I sent you a flyer that you guys can post out on MECWeb. web. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys can post that out there, there's information out there. Or simply give um, Cigna's customer service a call at 1-800-CIGNA-24. We can assist you with that as well. There should also be some information um, in my Cigna as well regarding the dental oral health um, program. So you have access to learning more about this program multiple ways. 
Okay, I see a lot of questions coming in in regards to what the plans offered and what they and what they cover. And I recommend everybody to visit Mech Web um, because under Mech Web we have the virtual benefits fair, which has um, summary of benefits for the plans offered for medical, dental, and vision. And you can pretty much get all, all your um, the information you're looking for pertaining to what the plans cover. Um, go to Mech Web, visit the virtual benefits fair. You can also find the open enrollment page, which has the links um, to the carriers and the contact information as well. Okay, Beth, thank you so much for your presentation. You're welcome. Let me I'm stop sharing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, share my screen now. Well, let me know when you stop. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And Maria, this is Jasmine. I see a mm -hmm. lot of questions in the chat regarding the additional nutritional counseling visit. Yes. I'm following up on that because I want to say um, it will apply the specialist benefit, but I just want to confirm. So give me just a moment. I'm going to look into the benefits a little deeper regarding the additional um, after the 10. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for that, Jasmine. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we are switching vision carriers effective January 1, 2022. Our new partner will be IMED. The county will continue to offer two plans for consideration, the standard and the enhanced plan. Both plans have a zero copay to an in-network provider and a 180 frame allowance. Although both plans are similar, they are also different. There's, there are some differences. And to speak further on the differences and more details pertaining to our new vision carrier, we have Brian Booz from IMED. He's gonna go ahead and share additional information. And again, he's gonna be available for any questions you may have pertaining to vision coverage. Hello, Hello. Brian. Hey, Maria. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. So okay. you can go ahead and present. Get it all connected here. Okay, I have to get into Can you see my screen? I can see it, but I view the presenter's view with the notes. Okay, let's see if I can switch. It's a little bit challenging on Zoom. Let me see if I can do that. Hmm. Well, is a display settings? You click on there we go. Yeah. Hopefully that works. How's that? There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Sorry for my technical delay there. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the vision plan with IMED. Um, and it'll start off by the first decision you'll have to make is whether or not you want to uh, uh, purchase the vision plan at all, because it is a, a voluntary coverage. And I just want to uh, play a short video here that talks a little bit about the value of, uh, of a vision plan, whether or not you need glasses or not. So hopefully this works. Should you enroll in vision benefits? Grandma might say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We love grandma, but even age old wisdom like this could use an update. With IMED, good things come to those who don't wait. Vision benefits help pay for eye exams, something every pair of eyes could use, even if you don't think you need glasses. An apple a day may keep the doctor away, but an eye exam each year can help spot signs of diabetes, high blood pressure, and other health problems. Unlike what you've heard, you can always get what you want. With iMed, you can choose any frame or brand, and your favorite doctor is probably already in our network. When you enroll in iMed, a penny saved is several dollars earned. Member discounts and savings on vision-related products and services like LASIK give you more buying power. So in this case, less really is more. We believe nothing worthwhile is easy, except using IMED. We'll hook you up with everything you need, a cost estimator, provider locator, members app, and more. 
You won't even have to file a claim when you see an in-network doctor. We do it for you. That's right. No pain, lots of gain. There's a lot of wisdom in having vision benefits. So check yes for iMed and experience these benefits for yourself. After all, seeing is believing. Okay. Hopefully you're all able to hear that okay. Um, the main two themes that we're going to talk about over the next uh, few minutes here is focusing on the value of a vision plan from a pure savings perspective, the amount of money that you can save when purchasing um, either eye exams or uh, materials. And we'll talk a little bit about those discounts in a few minutes. And then we're also, the other focus uh, of the discussion is what you just heard, which is the wellness component of an eye exam. Uh, because with an eye exam, it can, uh, a provider can help spot some serious eye as well as healthcare conditions uh, sooner with, with just within that comprehensive eye exam. So um, if you are just going to see if you, uh, to get a prescription, you might find out that you have other chronic conditions that you need to, to take care of as well. So those are nice um, value add component of getting an eye exam. So we really want to encourage that. The two plan designs that you have available, as Maria had mentioned, we have a couple of different options. The standard plan provides a comprehensive eye exam every 12 months, uh, and it's covered with a $0 copay. Uh, in addition, you have that $180 frame allowance that's available every 24 months, as well as you have a $20 lens copay uh, plus additional fixed pricing on different uh, lens options and enhancements. That's covered every 12 months. And for those contact lens wearers, there's a $150 contact lens allowance, which is covered um, every 12 months, as well as a fit and follow-up benefit, which is part of your eye exam for purchasing contact lenses. So that is the standard plan design. If you look at the enhanced plan, it doesn't change much other than you'll see that the lens copay went from $20 down to zero. But there's also some nice fully covered lenses and lens options that are not available on the standard plan. You'll want to look at the plan design options, uh, the details a little bit further to be specific on that. But for example, um, one of the biggest advantages is someone like myself who wears progressive lenses. Um, it's a, at a zero dollar cost to you under the enhanced plan versus a, uh, a fixed copay under the standard plan. So you really will want to look at those two differences to see which one will uh, fit your needs the best. A couple of additional basics about the benefits. Your frequency is based on a plan year, or in this case, a calendar year. So you do not need to wait a full 12 months from your last date of service to use your vision benefits again. Instead, you can use them at the start of the new plan year. So it, it is, again, based on that calendar year basis, not 12 months from the last date of service. I will also uh, remind you too, that since you are changing, from one plan to another here, and IMED is the new carrier starting on January 1st, we will not be capturing any of that historical information to know when the last time you used your frame allowance, for example. So all benefits will reset starting on January 1st. So you do not have to wait another year for that. Contacts, again, are available in lieu of lenses only. So what that means is, uh, you're entitled to either a full pair of glasses, meaning the frame as well as the lenses that go in those frames, or contacts and frames every benefit year. So keep in mind that the frame frequency is still every other plan year, but when you're in that year where you're allowed to uh, purchase frames, you can either get the full pair of glasses or you could actually use your contact lens allowance as well as your frame allowance then you would have to pay for the, for the lenses that go in those frames at a 20% discount. So there is some flexibility there. What you're gonna wanna do to get the best out of your vision plan is make sure you go to in-network providers. So you'll be able to see here um, that we have lots of choices for you and just in the greater Charlotte area alone, uh, a very large independent provider network, as well as some national retailers like Lens Crafters, Pearl Vision, Target Optical, Walmart, and Sam's Clubs, Sam's Club, as well as some local retailers like My Eye Doctor, America's Best, Clark's and Eye Care. So lots, to, lots of options to choose from. 
uh, including some online options for those that like to shop uh, online. We've got five different uh, online options there at lenscrafters.com, targetoptical.com, rayban.com, glasses.com, and contactsdirect.com. So lots of flexibility there to find providers. When you want to find the one that's closest to you or the most convenient to you, you'll go to our provider locator at imed.com. The thing you'll have to make a note of is to make sure you're choosing the Insight Network. There'll be several choices for you to look at there. You'll want to make sure you use click on the Insight Network drop-down box. Um, you can also download and use our IMED Members app. And you can make sure that uh, you want to check the doctor or the closest eye doctors will be available to you when you receive a welcome kit um, at the end, of, or excuse me, at the beginning of your, of your plan year. We'll talk about that in a second as well. I mentioned earlier some savings that are available. These are some of the more common ones you're going to see. Uh, the additional pair of glasses gets used very often with our members. And so once you've exhausted your benefits already, you're still entitled to 40% off additional pairs of glasses. So that that's whether it's a second, third, or fourth pair, um, you get the 40% off the additional pair. Um, there's also discounts for LASIK. Um, you'll have a discount off any frame overage. So if you decide to um, spend uh, extra money for a more expensive frame, you'll get 20% off the balance over $180. Uh, there's also discounts on contact lenses. Anything that's not covered under the plan also gets a 20% discount, including non-prescription sunglasses. And then you'll have access to discounts for hearing exams and hearing aids as well. Then lastly here um, is just a kind of reminder of some of the member tools that will be available to you. Um, I mentioned earlier that we will be sending a welcome kit to all employees' homes. It will include two ID cards, as well as a brief benefit summary, and the four closest independent and four closest retail providers to your resident zip code. So it's a very customized um, envelope that will come in the mail uh, prior to January 1st. So be on the lookout for that. You'll also have a members app that you can go to to look up uh, at benefits, uh, look at your eligibility, look at your claims, um, find an eye doctor I mentioned earlier. You can actually store your prescriptions. So lots of options there, um, as well as of the member web where you'll have some tools, including one of which is an opportunity to look at your out-of-pocket costs before you actually visit the doctor. So it's a, 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 a cost transparency tool that's something that you might want to take a look at. A lot of our members enjoy. So with that, that's in my overview. Any questions at all, Maria, on the vision plan? Um, Brian, I don't see any questions. Madison, do you? I don't. Okay, thank you so much, Brian, um, okay. for all that you know helpful information you have provided. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. Okay, so uh, most of you are probably familiar with Marathon Health, but those that are not familiar with Marathon Health, it is an independent provider of primary care clinics. They have several near site locations and offer services such as primary care, biometric screening, chronic condition treatment, lab work, personal health coaching, just to name a few. To speak further on Marathon Health, I will turn it over to Jenna Ewing to present. Please feel free to ask questions after she's done presenting. Jenna? Hi, Maria, thank you. Hi, Thanks. no problem. How are you? I'm well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go you? ahead. Good, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. Wonderful. So I will go ahead and share my screen. Um, as many of you know, Marathon Health is a near site health center model um, that those that are on Mecklenburg County's medical plan have access to. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and play a pre-recorded video um, that's kind of a high level overview of who we are and how we can help serve you and your family if on Mecklenburg's medical plan. Um, I will have the chat box open. Um, so while the video is going on, if you have questions, feel free to ask. If there's any question that you don't feel comfortable asking because it is a group chat, um, you can always connect with Maria and she can give you my contact info and you can ask me directly. 
Um, or I always encourage you if you're gonna call and make an appointment or if you have any questions about Marathon Health, um, it's always your best bet to ask to speak to one of our nurses. They're usually one of the uh, most knowledgeable members of our team and can kind of help guide you and navigate you through Marathon Health System. So with that, I'll go ahead and share my screen and um, play the video for you all. My name is Jenna Ewing and I am the client advocate with Marathon Health in the Charlotte Network. The purpose of this presentation is to give you a better understanding of who Marathon Health is and how we can help serve you and your family. Marathon Health is a primary care physician's office with six health center locations in the Charlotte metro area. Our six health centers range in hours from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. All of our centers are by appointment only to reduce wait times. We see members on the benefits plan in your family ages three and up. So that includes your spouse or dependents. The six health centers are located around the 485 loop in Charlotte. Our newest health center location we opened in Matthews, North Carolina in March of 2020. As mentioned before, all of our health centers operate Monday through Friday, with the exception of our North Lake location open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. You have access to all six of these health centers. So should you want to get labs done at one of our health center locations, but see a provider at another, you may go to any of the six health centers included in this network. The design of this model was so you could have access to care close to home and work. This here is a service overview. The purpose of this slide is to give you a better understanding of what Marathon Health can do for you and your family. We operate as a primary care physician's office. And what that means is we can do your annual routine physicals. If you are 16 and up, we can treat you for acute and preventive needs. So if you get sick or if you would like your chronic disease managed with us, that includes high blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid issues, we also have a dedicated referral team that can help connect you with somebody in network if it's something that we can't handle at the health center level, such as a sleep study or a dermatological referral. We do see children age three and up on the medical plan. We see children for acute needs, such as cuts, bumps, bruises, sprains, or if they're sick and have an ear infection. The one caveat to that is we see children for camp and sports physicals. Our wellness services that are included with your Marathon Health access is health coaching and behavioral health needs. All behavioral health services as well as health coaching services are free at no cost to you. This can be one-on-one -on -one health coaching or group wellness programming. We have an on-site laboratory at each of our six health center locations. Labs are free at no cost to the patient. We also have an on-site dispensary and a home med pharmacy. The on-site dispensary is used for acute medications when you are sick or need something at the time of the appointment. Our home med delivery service is where we leverage this pharmacy for chronic care medications, such as thyroid medications or blood pressure medications. In 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Marathon Health transitioned their model of care to not only being telephonic and in-person, but launched virtual care. As a patient of Marathon Health, you now have access to our providers virtually, telephonically, or in-person. The fifth mark on this slide is Marathon Health Portal. The portal is where you can communicate with our ambassadors, our clinical team members, you can schedule appointments, as well as access test and lab results. The way that our model is set up is by appointment only, and those appointments are either 40 minutes, 30 minutes, or 20 minute appointment types. The 40 minute appointments are typically for new patients to establish care. This also is included in our annual physicals. 
A 30 minute appointment is gonna be if you are a sick patient and it's a little bit more complex or if you're new and not feeling well. The 20 minute appointment is for routine care for established patients. So for those that are established with us, we know your medical history, your current medication regimen, and you're just not feeling good, or if it's just a check-in on your chronic care management where a quick set of labs are needed and just a touch base with one of our providers on how you're doing. As I mentioned before, we do have medications on site as well as a home med delivery system. We encourage patients that do not have a primary care or a provider that they see in the network to leverage Marathon Health as their primary care of choice. We can not only manage the current medications that you're on, but do routine lab work and your annual physical for preventive reasons at no cost to you, regardless of the plan that you're on. All preventive services are free. We do have an on-site laboratory at our six health center locations. Those labs are at no cost to you and anybody that is on the plan. Sometimes we have patients that have an established primary care in the network, and we encourage that. We're not here to replace your primary care if you have one, but we are here to be one if you need one. We sometimes have patients that use us strictly for our labs only. Let's just say that you have a specialty doctor such as a cardiologist, and you have to get labs every three to six months. You can have that specialty doctor fax Marathon Health that lab order, and we can draw those labs for you on that specific cadence. We would then send the results of those labs back to your specialty doctor, and there would be no fee for you as the patient. As I mentioned before, we do have a dedicated referral team to the Marathon Health Charlotte Network. What this means is if you were to come see one of our providers and you were having issues with sleep or you had a mammogram up or colonoscopy that was due, or let's just say your child fell at school and you're uncertain if they need an x-ray or not, you can schedule an appointment with one of our Marathon Health providers that can assess the current situation and the need for the referral, and they would connect you with our referral team. Our referral team will take your medical insurance, put it through our system, and reach out to you within a 24 to 48 hour timeline, depending on the need. They would then schedule that appointment for you and follow up with the results to take the heavy lifting off the patient. Health coaching and behavioral health services are a part of the Marathon Health Benefit. We have three dedicated health coaches in the Charlotte network that consist of a certified diabetic educator that is a registered dietitian, an exercise physiologist, and a CHES certified health coach that is passionate about spiritual and behavioral health. We also have a team of four behavioral health clinicians, varying from licensed professional counselors to licensed clinical social workers. All health coaching and behavioral health appointments are free at no cost to the member. So how do I schedule an appointment with Marathon Health? You can call our centralized scheduling team, our member relations team, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. or Saturday mornings. They can help set up an appointment for you. You can scan the QR code below. You also can register online at member.rhealth.org and create a profile where you can go into the member portal and self-schedule an appointment that way. We appreciate your time in listening to our presentation. If at any point you have any questions about Marathon Health and what we can do for you and your family, feel free to reach out to our member relations team or go to marathonhealth.com and visit us, check us out. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you so much, Jenna. Thanks, At this Maria. time, does anybody have any questions um, for Jenna pertaining to Marathon Health? I didn't mm -hmm. see any in the chat. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. So let's talk about the county supplemental benefits, or some may refer to it as voluntary benefits. 
Mecklenburg County offers employees cancer, accident, medical bridge, and critical illness which are offered through colonial and pre-tax except for critical illness, which is after tax. The county also offers pet insurance through Nationwide and all plans are administered by our broker by the name of Pierce Group. These benefits are 100% employee contributed and are portable. Unlike the core benefits, coverage will remain the same unless you make changes to your coverage. So here are some things that we must remember. Open enrollment is from November 8th through November 19th. If you do not enroll or waive coverage for medical, dental, vision, and flexible spending accounts during the designated online open enrollment period, you will not have insurance coverage in 2022. To complete your benefit elections, remember to log into MyHR, go to Employee Self-Service, click on the benefits tile, and then click on benefits enrollment. To enroll in the voluntary benefits like critical illness, cancer insurance, medical bridge, accident insurance, please visit the Pierce Group website. For pet insurance, visit Nation's web, website, Nationwide's website, sorry about that. And the links are here on this page, but again, this information is being recorded or this presentation is being recorded and will be saved on Mac web. And also the virtual benefit has this information as well. Another thing to remember during open enrollment is that this is a good time to enroll or make updates or changes to your 401k contributions, 457 plans, five, NC 529 college savings plans, or you can also update your beneficiaries on your 401k and health savings account. This year, we are very excited to announce that we are gonna be having open, and ramp, I'm sorry, open enrollment raffles. Those of you that complete your enrollment from November 8th through November 19th will have the opportunity to be entered into multiple raffles for a chance to win some great prizes. There will be drawings on Wednesdays and Fridays during the two weeks of open enrollment. The first drawing will be held on November 10th and we will announce 20 names. Only those that complete the enrollment before midnight, the day before each drawing, will have the chance to enter the raffle. Some of the prices will be a Google Home Bluetooth speaker, a Yeti cooler, air fryer, wireless earbuds, and our grand prize will be a 50 inch smart TV. These are just some of the prices we will have. So don't miss out and enroll early. Okay, here are a list of resources um, with the information pertaining to our carriers. This information is also on the open enrollment benefits guide that was mailed to you and also emailed to you along with the link to this presentation. Now, before we conclude this presentation, I want to um, introduce Erin from WorkGreen. She is going to do a short presentation in regards to a WorkGreen initiative with the county. Erin, are you available? I am. Hey, Maria. Okay. How are you? Hey, good. And you? Good. Good, good, okay. good. Let me... So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing so you can go Perfect. ahead. Perfect. Thank you. Let me share my screen. Okay, so I know that you got, can everybody see my screen? Maria, can I get a thumbs up from you? Awesome. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so uh, I know you guys have gotten a ton of information this morning, so thank you for being patient. Uh, I'll be quick. Has anybody, um, show of emoji hands, who has participated and or heard of Work Green in the past? Let's see if I can see you guys. Awesome. Great. Uh, so my name is Erin Stanforth. I'm the Sustainability and Resiliency Manager for Mecklenburg County, and I'm going to talk to you guys briefly about Work Green. Uh, Work Green is our environmentally focused employee engagement and award program. In 2004, our board adopted the environmental leadership policy, and we adopted an, adopted an updated version of that policy uh, in March of this year. And so the policy commits the county to operate in a manner that provides employees with opportunities and incentives to practice environmentally sound behaviors. 
And so to register and participate in Work Green, you have to visit uh, the Work Green site that's within SharePoint. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys there in just a second. But I do want everybody to keep in mind this logo down here. That's kind of our, our um, brand, I guess, if you wanna call it that, of Work Green, that's within SharePoint. It kind of takes you through all of the Work Green sites on SharePoint. Just keep that in mind. Uh, and of course, time off award credits may be earned while on the job or outside of work. And how do you get those credits, you ask? Well, credits can be earned by participating in webinars and courses that are focused on the environment and are housed in MEC talent. You can also participate in in-person activities such as stream cleanups, what have you, or taking part in, in environmentally friendly activities in your office, such as a green team. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the, um, the Work Green website here in a minute. And there is a list of events that exist um, that we advertise, and most of those are, are, are put on by our staff members within Work Green, or excuse me, within um, the county, but that's not an exhaustive list. We recognize that there's a ton of environmentally focused groups that are local to both Mecklenburg County and our surrounding neighborhood counties. And so if you want to volunteer with another organization that does environmentally focused things, feel free to do so. That, that Just because it's not on that list doesn't mean it doesn't count. So 10 earned credits equates four hours of PTO and 20 earned credits equates eight hours of PTO. Um, additional ways you can earn credits are by commuting to work by alternative transportation. So bike, bus, light rail, walking or carpooling. You can also volunteer with local environmentally focused groups like I mentioned, and then I'll watch environmentally focused documentaries um, online. And again, 10 hours equates four hours of PTO and 20 earned credits equate eight hours of PTO. So I'm going to stop share briefly, and then I'm going to reshare so we can all see um, our website, just so you know where everything is. So everyone's familiar with SharePoint, I hope. Um, so if you scroll down uh, just about halfway through, and I, they changed the color recently, so it's, it was hard for me to like find this a minute ago. Um, you'll see that that icon I was talking about before, Work Green, if you click there. Um, that will take you to um, the Work Green site, if it'll load. Um, and so we have our program overview, find activities, log and track credits. If you want to find activities, you click on find activities. And um, you'll see a list of events that we have that we're sponsoring uh, and just promoting to our own internal staff. Uh, we have some other self-guided opportunities listed here. And then we've got... Um, various documentaries you can watch that are both for free and um, for paid premium services like Hulu, Netflix, what have you listed here. And all of these things can be done to earn credits. Um, additionally, to log your credits, um, you go back to the Work Green main page, you click log and track credits. We try to make it as, as simplistic as possible for folks because it was a little buried in, um, in the Mech web world. So if you click log your credits again, this will take you to a Qualtrics survey just enter in um, your information, select your department. Um, you'll be able to select which of the uh, following things that you did to, to achieve said credit and whatever you select will prompt you to further questioning. So that's what you have to do in order to earn your credits, regardless of what the activity is. If it's a documentary, if it's, if it's taking a course of module online, I'm gonna show you how to access that in a second. If it's cleaning up a stream, if it's being on a green team, you have to use this form to get that additional time off. Um, also, something I forgot to mention that was asked last session, um, the time off is awarded at the end of the fiscal year. So right now we're in the middle of FY22. Um, you're, you're earning credits for FY22. That time will be in your leave bucket come September of FY23 but that leave does not go away. It rolls over, you can use it whenever and however you choose. Um, so I'm gonna go over to Mech Talent. If you're in Mech Talent and you search for training, hang on, I can't like get to the tab I need to get to. So let me, let me stop share real quick and reshare one more time. Um, this is the last thing I'll, I'll share. Um, so within Mech Talent, um, we do have, various trainings that are available on, when I say trainings, I mean learning modules that are available online that are specific to, to sustainability and work green. Um, you can filter your um, learning by subject here on the left and I filtered by work green. You can also filter by sustainability to get the same results. Uh, we are working to build out more modules so that those 20 credits can be awarded through 100% online work because we recognize that 
you know, individuals have time constraints, but also with COVID, not everybody wants to go clean a stream with a bunch of strangers. So um, we want to give individuals the, the ability to earn those 20 credits and that eight additional hours, 100% online. And so with that, I'm gonna stop talking and stop sharing and see if there's any questions I have for anybody. We do have a few, Erin. How would sure. you document watching the videos? I think you kind of went over that a little bit, but. Yeah, so you would use that form that I showed you within the Work Green site um, to document whatever video or module what it what is or excuse me whatever video or module you you watch use that form all right let's see next question is the work green program available to library employees this is the second time we've gotten this question so i'm actually working on that um it technically no but it doesn't make a lot of sense just funding wise for it not to be um the difficulty to be totally transparent the difficulty is that the library staff does not use MechWeb, which I didn't know. I've only been here since January, which it feels like forever, but in reality, it's in real time, it's not. Um, so I didn't recognize that the library staff doesn't have access to this information. So we're trying to figure out a way to work around that. So right now, no, but that doesn't mean that that's a permanent answer. All right, let's see, next question. The Greater Charlotte Apartment Association does um, street and stream cleanups. Would those activities qualify? Yeah, most definitely. And last question, mm -hmm. will we get work green credit for today's presentation? Good question. Uh, um, I, I wish, but since I only spoke for like three minutes, I'm going to go with no. However, there are modules that are like 10 minutes long that are in existence that you can take and, and earn credit for. So because I only spoke for five, three minutes, three to five, and because the bulk of what we talked about was not sustainability focused, I'm gonna say no. Okay. Thank you. That's the last Thank question. You. You're back. Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. And thank you to all that attended this um, meeting. Um, I hope that it was helpful to all of you. Thank you to all of our um, representatives from each um, vendor that uh, presented. And um, any other further questions before we conclude today's presentation? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that it, Madison? I don't have any on the chat. We, I believe so. It seems like someone's coming off mute. I can't see. Can you hear me? I hear Maria. Can you hear me? But it's like really, like this bad reception. Is oh, hi, Merlin. <laughs> How are you? I can hear you a little bit. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a question. Sure. I don't know. It's it for Brookers and Brazil. Um, the other day I went to my primary doctor and I was charged two hundred thirty dollars. Um, oh, Marlene, I'm I, sorry. I really cannot hear you. I'm having difficulties hearing okay. you. Um, hold on, please. Can you hear me right now? I can hear you a little better. Okay. Um. The other day I went to my primary doctor and I was uh, two hundred thirty dollars for copay, and they said I don't have copay on my insurance, and I wonder why because um, all insurance have copay, but this um, uh, HIC does not have any copay. I'm not sure why. Okay, Merlin, I will have to check to see what plan you are enrolled in. Um, we can speak offline. Um, okay. You know, after our present, the presentation is concluded, um, and then I can assist you further. Okay. Okay. Thanks I'm going to reach out to you offline. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. That way, I can try to see which uh, plan you're enrolled in, and then see, you know, why the charge. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Have a good day. I do see one additional. Mm -hmm. 
question um, in the chat. Is there an out-of-pocket max for enhanced dental? Okay, um, Beth, are you still there from Sigma? I'm, yes, yes, I am here. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a calendar year maximum for the dental. Um, the calendar year maximum is $1,500 for the enhanced plan. Okay, and 1,000 for the standard, correct? Yes, that is correct, yep. Okay, there's actually a question from Mara. Um, Jenna, are you available? I don't see her on. Okay. Um, we may are have to take that some... question offline. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and take that question offline for LaSharian. LaSharian, I'll get in touch with you, okay? And in regards to work green on Mech Web, if you scroll all the way down, um, it should be a section on the right that says work green. Um, let's see, it should be right beside the county operators permit section. And that is where all of the work green information is held. Okay, I guess this concludes our presentation. Thank you again, everybody, for joining to our vendors. Thank you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.